well um, it's been a minute since I've done a tutorial I've been itching I've been feeling uninspired and I was just like you know what I'm sure I have looks on my Instagram that I've been telling myself I need to do and I haven't done them and I was right and I found a look I'm gonna insert it here on my Instagram that I did like last year and I promised myself I was gonna do it and I just never actually I filmed it didn't like it and I never got around to filming it again so yeah I'm here with you guys now. Let's just get straight into the video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe. Like, I'm at 45k subscribers. I'd love to hit 50. But, you know, anyway, let me get into the videos. Let me stop rambling. Catch you guys in the video. Hey guys, it's been a minute, so we're gonna get into this look. My face is already quite glowy actually, I don't know if you can tell from the camera. I'm gonna bring it closer once I do my makeup. But I wanted to just show you these two products from Glossier. They're the Super Bounce and the Super Glow Serum. I use this under my makeup, well, I use this like when I moisturize after I wash my face, and it's giving me a really, really nice glow. The Super Glow is for glow, you know, if you wanna glow, just, you know, revive up, lies your skin. It's got like vitamin C. This isn't sponsored by the way, I'm just talking about it because I really like how my skin feels and looks. And then I put the Super Bounce on top. But yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Okay. I've got a new camera, so I've got new quality and stuff. You guys can really see me. Oh, by the way, my hair is braided. Um, my hair is done by braided. Braided by D on Instagram, I'll leave her link down below. I really, really like it. It's, it this is hair is a week old. Um, I've just put it in a bun because of the look I'm trying to do today, you guys already know. I like it all slipped back like nothing in the way. F following on with Glossier, I'm gonna be using their lash stick, but I'm actually gonna be using this for my brows. Um, when an eyelash, when mascara is empty, I like to, especially when it's got a brush like this, hopefully this focuses. When it's got a brush like this, I love to use it for my brows. Like it really brushes my brows and gives them like a slight bit of color, like a little bit. I don't even want too much really because I like my brows still to look quite natural. Don't know if you can see the difference. I've got my brows threaded as well. I just feel like threaded brows just give me a need to look on my face. Like when my brows aren't done, it really, it really affects my mood. And then I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This comes like in a marker, so it gives like the brow effect. Although I don't really, it looks like more like a felt tip, like an eyeliner. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Let me see if I can give like brow strokes. It just doesn't give the brow strokes like I, I'd want. It looks more like an eyeshadow. So I just prefer using the normal pencil. But this one's really good. It's waterproof as well. This is by Urban Decay. It's gonna fill in my brows and elongate them because they're quite short. I just wish this brow um, pencil, like it's good, but I just wish I had like a spoolie. Ooh, got like a spare one I got from my uh, beauty supply hair shop. I'd highly recommend using eyebrow gel and then going over with the eyebrow pencil, just filling in the strokes. Then your eyebrows look more natural if you're going for the natural look. So to prime, I'm going to be taking Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer, my goodie forever, I love it. I've got the sample size, but it lasts forever. I'm going to put it any anywhere, I get oily. I'm starting to get a smile line in my makeup, so I make sure to prime around here. And then I'm going to be taking a foundation I've really, really been liking. This is the Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation from Maybe You Fit Me. This is in the shade... I'm pretty sure it's in the shade caramel because I'm that shade for everything in the drugstore. Yeah, caramel. So I'm gonna put two points. It's not like matte, I feel like it's quite like a satin finish. It can end up getting a bit dewy at the end of the day though, but I don't really mind that. I like dewy. Going over, I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender. Well, this is from Real Techniques, it's not the actual beauty blender. I want quite a flawless finish foundation look today, so I'm gonna be putting more. Because I don't want it to be full coverage, but I want it to look flawless. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in three. 370 yeah 370 honestly guys this is my favorite concealer of all time like this is actually my favorite concealer so 
I want my under eye a little bit brighter. I'd suggest um, going a little bit brighter, but this this concealer works the best with my under eyes. Like it, it conceals them just how I want it, and it's not too bright. I'm gonna probably go into Fenty now that I have it in um, boots and just get like a, a lighter color just to highlight with, because I think this is really good to conceal, but for like highlighted look, we need to go up a bit. But anyway, I've also got the e.l.f. concealer to highlight with. Um, this concealer is really, really good. I just would, I just wish it was just a bit more yellow, but it's okay. That's just a personal preference. Like the undertone could be a little bit more yellow. I like using the same sponge because even if I highlight, because I've used so like the foundation and the concealer, it won't go too, too bright with the same sponge. So to contour, I'm going to be using True Match by L'Oreal in the shade Caramel. If you wanna see how I did like my baby hairs, I've got a uh, little tutorial, mini tutorial on um, Instagram, so you can go check that out. Just in case, cause I know someone's gonna ask me what did I use. I've got a tutorial. I'm gonna go back in with the sponge, make sure I blend everything out. I still had some of my back of my hands, so I'm just putting the concealer back on my under eye, just to make sure it's nice and flawless. Then I'm going to tap into my Laura Mercier. Sorry, this is a real serious moment. Now I kind of use the other brush I have. Press it in and dust it off at the same time. So for eyes, we're going to keep it real, real simple. I'm going to be going into my Morphe 39A palette. The palette I use for everything. I'm going to be going into this shade and putting that all over the crease. And then we're gonna go into this shade, the side, and put that in the crease a little bit, like dipping a little bit, dabbing it off. Because like I said, it's, gonna, it's really all about the lips. So you wanna keep the face as clean as possible. Not too much going on in the eyes. Look down at your mirror down here and see where your eye socket dips. Let me just put the powder there and follow that. And that's literally it. We just want to bring a little bit of definition. And that's it. So for mascara, I'm going to be taking the Il Maquillage Icon High Volume Intense Curl Mascara. This is amazing. This is so good. Try to be as neat as possible with your bottom lashes. You don't want no clumpiness or anything. Um, this is literally because we just want everything to look very clean, you know? So for lashes, I'm going to be using the JC Beauty Carice Lashes. Very, very cute, very simple. It comes with a little mirror so you can actually apply your lashes using it. It's so cute. I love this packaging. Hmm, it's too long, I need to cut some more. Like I said, if your lashes are too long, cut the ends. Cut a little bit off the ends and you should be good to go. Cool, so then I'm gonna be taking Fenty Beauty Cutie Caramel, Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Cutie Caramel. I love this bronzer. It's like natural, but then we're also gonna be using Coco Naughty in a sec. Cool. And then Coco Naughty, I focus it more on the cheeks and like the temples of my face. Coco Naughty. This is just a bit more red toned, whereas the Caramel Cutie is a bit more, um, which I'm gonna call it neutral. Caramel key is neutral, and also put it on my nose. And then I'm gonna be taking Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, the blush shade. I'm gonna be taking literally these three all on my cheeks. Because my lips are gonna have a lot of color. This is like a sheer type of blush. You can build up with it. Also, I'm gonna be taking these two shades in my inner corner. Just real bright. Bright eye. So to line my lips, I'm going to be taking Il Maquillage 
Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream in the shade Matte Guilty. This is to line my lips. And then I'm gonna be taking Fenty Beauty. Ooh, I don't know what this is called. Hang on, Fenty Beauty, Mademoiselle in Candy Venom. And then literally just for fun, I'm gonna go in the highlighter of Morphe High Impact Highlighter and Mirage, just for fun. I don't even need highlighter, but I'm going with it anyway. Like, I have a, I have a problem. Tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, like push it up. I'm literally taking the tiniest amount, the tiniest. And then, top it all off, I'm taking Too Faced Hangover Spray, the three-in-one spray, I love this stuff. Can you see? I like my face looking wet after. <laughs> then let that dry. I'm gonna have a sweet whilst it dries, so I'm not. I hope you guys really like it. My hands are real dirty because all the makeup. Eh. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys really like it. If you guys like my little hair, I feel like the hair goes with the makeup, especially up in a bun. Um, I need some earrings. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys really, really like this look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This, e this look is so easy to achieve. And be sure to send me pictures and snaps or Instagram stories, whatever, of you wearing this look. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>